Hi everyone. I want to bring in the energy of the high holidays into our bodies. So the holiday season of Tishrei is actually stages in a divine loving relationship. We have Rosh Hashanah. Actually, even before Rosh Hashanah, Elul is the month of courting with the divine. It is the month of dating. Then we come to Rosh Hashanah and it's our engagement. These are what the Kabbalists teach us. It is the time of engagement. And then we come to Yom Kippur and it is like our chuppah, our wedding ceremony. And then to the Sheva Brachas of Sukkot and Shmini Atzeret, which is being one together and moving in together, so to speak. And these stages are also represented in the body. So Rosh Hashanah, the mind, Rosh is head. And then we enter the heart space of Yom Kippur, the time of forgiveness and holiness and connection. And then we move to the low belly of Sukkot. And the Sukkah is resembled as a womb and it's the source of joy for the entire year. And that is located in the womb space. In yoga, it's called the Hara. It's just under the navel, that whole pre-personal, breathing, blissful self. So Tishrei is a time where we set intentions for the whole year, right? Tishrei has within it Reshit, which is beginning. And in the word Reshit, we have Rosh, which is head. And it's an auspicious time to make affirmations, make intentions, to really start the year strong. It's known as the cosmic energy center of the whole year, because within Tishrei, the source of all of our being for the whole year is held. So the affirmations, the intentions we set now, really deeply have an effect on the whole year. So if you can, I would um, take off your shoes and really feel the feet in the earth. And we're going to inhale the hands up to divine inspiration. And we're going to set our first stage of intention at the third eye. This is the point of da'as, the sphira that is our inner knowingness, our deep mindful wisdom. So close your eyes and set an intention here. And whatever it is, set the intention in the present. So not something you will do in the future, but bring it in to the here and now. And as we know, the mind is cold and we want to warm that intention up. So we exhale and bring it to the heart. So whatever intention you set up the mind, here we warm it up. We bring it a life and love. Feel it settle and expand in the heart. And then exhale, hands to the low belly, our source of joy. We bring it into our breath, to our lower energy centers. And this takes shape in our habits and our rituals and our day-to-day life. And then feel that intention float down all the way, landing in the feet. And this is a very important step because we feel it in the feet landing in the earth and the earth supports our intention and then the whole universe supports us. So inhaling to the sky, exhaling, we go through the stages of Rosh Hashanah, of Yom Kippur, of Sukkot. Each flow, we go deeper and deeper, bringing this intention more and more life through the journey. And of course, we fuel the breath with each gesture. 
because we are the original shofar. Hashem blew into us a breath of life. So through us, this reverberation of new life and energy channels through our bodies and we become co-creators in this world. few more like this. Pausing as long as you need at each space. Beautiful. Thank you for practicing.